and welcome back to more Super Mario Galaxy, where in the last episode, we faced off against the boss battle present for us in the engine room, and today, we will be adventuring off to the final dome of the Comet Observatory, although we're not actually going to be going into the that new dome, because we have a, a, a different galaxy, sort of a, sort of a midway point between the engine room and the final galaxy, sorry, the, the final dome to get through. And to get to that, we have to follow the pink line on the ground right here. Step on the teleporter, take us to a very familiar looking little platform. Does this house and this uh, ground look familiar? Well, it should, because if we step through here... Yep. It's the same planet that we started the game on. Why have we returned here, you may ask? Well, let's head up to the top of this platform and see what Rosalina has to say. This planet, it's very dear to me. I looked forward to visiting this planet with the Lumas every 100 years. The Luma that's been traveling with you may also grow up to become a star someday. Some Lumas become planets, some become comets, and a few become power stars. I'm traveling with them while they look for a place to be reborn. But I never thought all this would happen. Wow! Mama must really trust you! Well, how about this? If you grab all 100 purple coins here, then you'll earn my trust too! This is a red star. It holds the power of the red Lumas, but the really amazing part about it is that it allows you to fly after you spin in midair. Yes, fly! While pressing A, you can pick the direction you want to fly with the control stick. If you can collect 100 purple coins, I'll let you use my power somewhere else. <clears throat> okay, so... First things first, on a gameplay level, this is the first purple coin mission of the game. And the objective here, as Luma explained, is to collect all 100 purple coins. It's... Not much more complicated than that, just go around the entire planet, collect all the purple coins, and then you are good to go. And in case you... this, this is this will be a good test to see if the, if you like this style of Power Star, uh, as to the whole, you know, going around collecting 100 purple coins thing. Uh, if you do, great. If you don't, less great, because guess what? We're gonna be doing a lot more purple coin missions in the future. In fact, I'm going to be having an entire video dedicated to covering all the purple coin missions. So, if, you, if you're if you not a fan of purple coins, I, I am sincerely sorry about that because this game really, really loves its purple coin missions. But we, we, we will have to deal with those for a little bit, uh, for, for a little while, so don't worry about that. And if you're wondering why I'm not going after the, the, the purple coins that you can only get by flying, it's because I, I want to kind of brace you guys for what we're about to do. So... We're about to use a power-up that literally allows us to fly around the entire planet. And the Luma says that we can use this power star- I'm oh, sorry, this power-up elsewhere. And we can. We can use it- after we complete this mission, we can use this uh, in the Common Observatory. However, there's no point in doing that because any- there's nowhere- there's nowhere- on the common observatory that we can't get to without the uh, without the power up. Like yes, there's a, there's a one up hidden underneath a platform which you can only get with the use of the power up, but that's that's it. There's honestly I don't know. It's, I'll, I'll get my thoughts on this mission after we collect all the purple coins. We are almost done here actually. I think I think this is the last set of purple coins that we can we need to not that we can get without being. Red Star Mario or whatever. Alright. Oh, I, I guess, okay, I forgot these ones right here. Alright, so... Now that we've taken care of this, it's time to show you how to fly. And... All we have to do is just step into the Red Star. He transformed into Flying Mario. Spin one, jumping to fly. So if we jump and spin, we can fly. Left, push left stick left to go left. Push the left, here, I, I messed up. Hit, uh, left, left stick left to go left. Left stick right to go right, uh, pull down to go up, and push up to go down. Because the controls are inverted for some strange reason. Anyway, we'll turn ourselves around and we'll go the other direction and try to save a little bit of time. I think you can make it around the entire planet in one flight path, but, you know, it might, might take you a little while to get used to the controls. Uh, yeah, it's kind of weird the flying controls are inverted. It's not super responsive to your controls. Or, 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 sorry, it's not super responsive to your input, but, you know, it'll... 
For, fortunately, the, I, I have great news for you. Uh, if, you. If you're not a fan, which I know I'm not, you only have to do this once. You never have to use the Flying Mario suit ever again after you collect all these purple coins. So, you know, that's that, that's some uh, rewarding news, I guess. And yeah, I, the, the flying controls are not good in the slightest. But, you know, we, we gotta do it to go for 100%. So let me get myself a little bit back. It doesn't help that the camera is a pain for this as well. It really does not help that the camera for this mission is a big old pain in the rear end. Okay, I'm just I'm just gonna get that one on the return trip because clearly the camera is not cooperating with me here. So let's just try to go in this direction. I, yeah, you can't see anything. You cannot see a single thing when with when the camera's acting the way that it is. So this it's just it's it, it's not fun. It, it it's it's a real real big pain. But you know, gotta go for 100. percent So. Let's push through this, get this last coin, and then the Power Star will spawn in, and we will be good to go. Once you collect all 100, you can return to the, the, the platform we started on, and the Power Star will be waiting for you right over there. You got a star, Gateway's Purple Coins, Gateway Galaxy, 83 Power Stars. Galaxy complete. You increase your starboard count to 2,332. And a hungry Luma has appeared. Right outside the Gate Galaxy. Save your game. No, we still have one more Power Star collecting this episode, and it is going to be the Power Star that is, um, what's it? The, 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 the sorry, the Power Star that we get for completing the hungry Luma mission, right outside the gate. But before we do that... Let me show you where you can get the red star in case you want it. If you ever want to turn to Flying Mario again, just break this open, grab the, grab the red star, then you're then you're Flying Mario, and uh, that's it. If you want, you can get the one up that's on this platform right here, and that's literally the only thing you can do with Flying Mario that you can't do without him. I mean, I guess yeah, I think you can also like yeah, there's one up up there. Oh no, wait, no, there's one up up there somewhere, but you can I think fly to the sweet sweet galaxy. Uh, as Flying Mario, because the, 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 the trigger points to reach the galaxies are just these uh, these things floating out here, and I think being Flying Mario actually allows you to go out that far, but, you know, as, as far as, like, hidden things you can find around the observatory, there's nothing. It's really not worth it, but it, it's here if you want to use it. So now what we're going to do is just fly our way back up here and chat with this Hungry Luma right here. He's going to require 12... 100 star bits. Fortunately, we have that many, but still, it's it's quite a lot. So just feed the Hungry Luma all 1,200, and just uh, looking forward, the last, there's only one more Hungry Luma after this one, and that, will, and that Hungry Luma will require 1,500 star bits. So, just to, just, just to let you know how, how many we're going to need moving forward. The Boo's Boneyard Galaxy has appeared. So, let's go ahead and fly there. and tackle Racing the Spooky Speedster. Alright, so you may remember that when we had to race against the Boo in Ghostly Galaxy, it was kind of tough, but I have some great news for you. For one, this time instead of racing him with pull stars, we are racing him as Boo Mario. And for another, this one's significantly easier because the the Boo we're racing against only knows how to follow one path. And it's the slow route, but we know how to take a faster route. So as a quick refresher, we can shake the Wii Remote to pass through these blue surfaces right here. That's going to be very, very important to uh, when it comes to winning the race. Anyway, when you're ready, you can talk to this guy right here. Hehehe, <laughs> so you're after it too. You'll have to race me for it. Sure thing. <laughs> Here we go. All right, so 
Beating him is very, very simple, because he does move pretty quickly, but so long as you take the secret path, which is not really a secret, it's just a path he doesn't take, which is right over here, just shake the Remote to pass through this surface right here, grab one of the bunch of Star Bits along the way, and then grab this coin to see why this path is so fast, because the fans boost you downward incredibly quickly. And as you can see, we have almost entirely lost Boo, he is nowhere to be seen behind us, so just as long as you keep grabbing the gold coins, keep uh, following the path of the fans so that you keep getting that speed boost, you will have nothing to worry about. I fell a little behind schedule there because I did kind of uh, bump bump into something which stalled my momentum, but no matter, because we just got to keep following downward, shake the Wii remote whenever we come across a, uh, something we can pass through, and then you'll make it to the end with uh, many, many seconds to spare. Eee, 43 seconds? What well, a promise is a promise to so take this power star. Let's float it to the power star. You got a star, racing the spooky speedster, Boo's Boneyard Galaxy, 84 power stars. Galaxy complete. High score update, 8 to 27 coins. You will lose your starboard count to 1,207. Save a game? Yes, because that will be it for this episode. Next time, we're actually going to be venturing off to the final dome and beginning our adventures there proper. Today, we were just kind of doing the in-between stuff that we have to do before, after completing the engine room, before going to the final dome waiting for us up there. But anyway, that'll be it for now, so thanks for watching. See you for next time, and hope to catch you all tomorrow for some more Super Mario Galaxy. Goodbye!